Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today I thought we would do a nice, quick, unedited seascape. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with a one inch brush and grab a little bit of white. And I'm going to come up here and just start dropping in some little clouds. Now I should explain what I have going on up here. This is just contact paper, and I just stuck it up on there, and then I painted it all in black acrylic, and I let the black acrylic dry, and then I put some oil paint on top. There's purple up there, and a little bit of blue and green down at the bottom. That's all I've done. I thought today we would do a nice little ocean. So I'm just going to tap those in, grab a clean brush, and blend them out. The tiny circles just blend out the bottom of the cloud. I'm going to fluff it and lift it. Lift it up, and then blend it right back down. And now I'll go back to that brush. And we're going to do another cloud distinctly in front of that one. We leave that nice dark area, and that'll be the separator in between the two clouds. We need that dark to separate them. It'll work much better if you leave that. Grab a clean brush, and we'll blend. Just like that. Just blend them right out. Fluff them up a little, and go sideways. Make them look nice and soft. And one more. We'll do one more right there. Just floating right along the horizon. But by the way, that's a little piece of masking tape. That just gives us a, a straight line. And we'll just do the same. Lift it, fluff it, and blend it all back down. Now I'm going to grab a fan brush and load a little bit of white paint. White, I'm going to grab a little bit of some blue. And I'm going to come up here and I want to do tiny, tiny stringy clouds. These aren't too distinct, not quite as distinct as those. But I just want a hint of something going on up here. Just like that. That's enough. Change to a clean brush and blend them. It just adds a little extra interest to the sky. Maybe do a little more there. Alright, now I'm going to pull off this piece of masking tape. And now see, that gave us a nice straight line. Now, I said I had some blue and green down there. So I'll grab the two inch brush and just stick a little bit of blue and green right there. Just rub it right in. And I'm going to change to a fan brush now. Grab a little bit of green and blue and brown. And I think this will be kind of a Pacific Ocean type seascape today. And so I want some pine trees here at the horizon. We'll have a piece of land that they're growing off of, but for now we'll just drop them right in. This is mostly just brown with a little bit of blue and green. Just tapping with the fan brush. Maybe they come up. Come up like that. Something like that. Have them run right off the painting. Good and dark. We don't want them to distract too much. Now I'm going to go through some brown. And we'll drop in a nice little island thing. Just like that. Just drop it right in. Just like that. Now, I'm going to switch to another fan brush, grab a little bit of color, and I want just a little, tiny little bit of mist right there. Just like a light spot. Just right there. That's enough. Just like that. And watch what happens when you do another one right in front of it. Look at that. See, now you created two separate little things. That easy. And we'll just fill that in. Just like that. All right, now I'm going to go back to fan brush, a little bit of white and yellow. And I want a big wave in here. So I'm going to take the brush and just drop it in. That's going to be my wave. And maybe I'll have a background wave. Just like that. Right there. 
Now I did that intentionally, so I know where to put the rest of my waves. And I think it'll crash over like that. So, I'm going to set that down, pick up a knife, grab a little bit of white on the knife. And I want to come back here and just dot with the knife, touch. And I want to create some nice little waves back here. Hardly any detail at all. Just little things happening in the background. Just by touching. We don't need a lot. Try to keep them pretty straight, as straight as you can. Just like that little shimmer on the water. Just that easy. And that's about enough of that. Now, I want to get a fan brush. I'm going to wipe most of the paint off of it. And I want to take this wave and pull it back. Grab it and pull it back. Just like that. This is making a nice, nice wave back here. Just blend it right away. That easy. And same with this one, the big one. Blend that right away. Just the back edge. And there it goes. I want to leave that dark area right there in between the waves because that separates them. Just like that. All right, now I'm going to go into some light color, some yellow and white, and I'm going to drop in the eye of the wave, just rubbing, rub it right in, just like that, and let it wander right about there, and let it stop. And now I'm going to grab a clean brush, and I'm going to very softly Blend out that, just a little. Blend it right out. And we grab it and pull it. Grab it and pull it. Just that easy. Make your wave look like it's kind of standing up and ready to crash over. Now, back to some white. And we can drop in some splash. The foam, the curling part of the wave. Just like that. That easy. A little bit of white on the brush. And have it and stop right about there. Now I'm going to grab a filbert brush and some blue and red. And I want I want some foam right on the top of that wave, just like that. So we'll just drop in the shadow part. This is just the shadow. We'll come back and highlight. And maybe it splashes up like that even. Look at that. There it goes. And maybe we'll kind of have it misty back in there. A little bit more color. And have it work out like that. All right, now I guess I'll just wipe off that brush and grab some yellow, yellow and white. Yellow and white. Maybe even thin it down just a little. That way it sticks. Okay. Now I'm going to come up here and just push. Come up here and push and, and you get that bright foam at the top of the wave there. Just like that. Just like that. No big deal. Flip the brush over. Keep going. Just like that. See all that nice bright foam we have going on there? We'll let a little of that wander right on back. And maybe little right there. Okay, now I'm going to change to a, a clean brush. I just want to blend that out, barely. Don't want to destroy it. I like the, the nice white bright tops. But I do want to blend it out just a little. A tiny little bit. And I also want to add a little bit of mist back in here. I'll pick up some of that color and just kind of drag it back real dark and kind of mysterious back in that corner there. All right, now back to a fan brush and some light color. And we can drop in like some nice little foam things, just like that, in the wave. Just kind of let them run like that. This shapes your wave. And I'll also have some water down here. Kind of go like that to just 
just drop it in. Now that's really, it's mostly white, and we put that blue and green under there, and the white is mixing with the blue and green, and you get all these pretty colors without having to do anything, really. Just rubbing back and forth. And think about the way the wave is kind of curling. It gets a little flatter out here, and then as it comes up here, it curves more. So do think about that when you're doing your wave. Maybe a little right there. Just like that. Let it get darker out toward, toward the right there. Very little color out there. All right, now I'll change to a clean brush. Just blend it out real soft. Let's just put those lines right down into the wave. Make it look nice and soft, misty, real quiet down here. Okay, now I'm going to grab a script liner and some paint thinner. And I'm going to go through some dark color. And I want to put a line right here, right, right at the bottom of that. See how that kind of separates it? And we can do more little lines that come right down the wave, just like that. And I also want to blend out that and kind of, kind of make it look like it fits. Just like that, no big deal. Maybe have another little foam thing like that. You can spend a long time putting in all sorts of foam. Make it look real nice. A lot of detail. A lot of detail. Just like that. Just drop them in anywhere you think they should go. Although they should get flatter out here. So, so do try to make them flat out here and kind of hook as they come in toward the crash. Just like that. Maybe some highlight down here. Alright. I think it would be fun. I'm going to grab a small knife. And a little bit of brown. And I want to drop in a rock. Just a little rock right there. Now, a little bit of brown and white. We'll add a highlight. Just like that. Just let it go. And back to the fan brush. And we'll clean up the bottom. Just like that. Maybe have a little water splashing up on it like that. But then that color doesn't stick too good. Add a little bit of thinner. And there we go. That's better. Let it splash on that rock and then kind of come out like that. Add a little more highlight there. And really, I think we're about done. So I hope you enjoyed this simple little seascape. Hope you had fun. Don't forget to check out my DVD. I'll put the link below. And thanks for watching.